We're live. We're going live. Get that 800 perfect credit in 2020. It starts now. Look at this new microphone. That's right. Drums on it. Doing a great job, Jerome. Everybody knows Jerome's doing a great job. And I want to know how this new mic sounds. So let me know in the comments. Let me know as you come into the live stream. Let me know how this live stream microphone's doing. I want only the best for us here at the Subscribe Tribe. So thank you so much. I want to make sure that we got the right equipment. Now, I'm going to put in my email here. Okay, we're putting in the email. Great. D Hill Trucking says, great. So the mic sounds great. Okay. Does it sound better than my other mic? Okay. I'm putting in JR Goodatudes. Hey, how are you? What's good, team? Blackbeard Dave. Hey, how's the new mic sounding, Blackbeard Dave? How's the new mic sounding? Let me know. Let me know, brother. Let me know. Jerome's back again. Everybody saying hello. Hi, good to see you. Weekday live. All right. Yes, that's right. Make sure, Ariel. Let's see. Make sure you got the right email here. I'm going to put my email in here. Again, make sure. Okay, you email me. I'm going through today. Every day was up early doing it. New mic sounds great. Okay, great. Mic sounds nice. Okay. Uh, good, good, good. Cool. So I'm putting my email in here just in case we get to talking and going. All right. That's right. Your mic sounds nice. Check. <laughs> Salt and pepper track. Okay. Oh, good. No break for Jerome. That's right, Jerome. Up. 26 hours a day, eight days a week. That's right. Excellent. Happy holidays to you as well. Score went up 101 points in less than a month. Asian Mac MacArthur says, score went up 101 points in less than a month. Thanks, bro. You're welcome. Congratulations. I appreciate you. Okay. So. Perfect credit, 800 credit score, get negative nasty erroneous items off, get all the nasty stuff off, 2020. All right, how are we doing? Our 2020 starts now, okay? It's right around the corner. If you're watching this, you're watching the replay, you're trying to get things squared away for you and your family, you wanna make sure that you want to get this going now, okay? Because not only does credit pair start now, but the, right, holidays, Holidays are going to make it a more difficult, challenging time for individuals at these bureaus to be able to quote unquote verify with all these new profiles and everything, right? The holiday season, okay? Yes. Sorry if the typing is a little loud. There we go. All right. Okay, so getting this good credit, this 800 credit score. I'm a loan officer, love your tips, you're welcome. You're very welcome, wish more people knew about you. That's good, hit that subscribe, try button, share, that's something else, you can, you can share the videos as well, I'm sure many people have shared the videos. Now, getting this 800 credit score. So that payment history is the most important thing. So of course we wanna get the negative, nasty, erroneous items off, get these good, positive stuff on there, okay? You get these negative, nasty, erroneous items off. I've had people get bankruptcies off, repossessions, foreclosures. You dispute, dispute, dispute this negative stuff. Now, you're saying, hey, what if they have stall tactics? What if they play games? I just had an individual send in a comment, and they had something like this. They were like, oh, they're playing games. They don't want to respond, all this stuff. This individual filed a complaint with the CFPB, filed a complaint with the Attorney General's office in their state, got a $1,600 collection deleted doing that. OK, so don't think that these bureaus can get away with playing these games. They have to adhere to the rules, the regulations, the laws, the Fair Credit Reporting Act, Fair Debt Collection Practice Act for these collections that you're getting off. That's right. So get these negative, nasty, erroneous items off and then look into something to build your credit if you don't have good credit. Right. Because 35 percent is payment history. All good on time payment history. 30 percent is the amount of debt. So you want less than 7% utilization, right? And you want to use three of your revolving accounts. Three of your revolving accounts. You need to be using three accounts. If you're using two accounts like I did for a while, my score dipped from 800 to 700. Okay? So that's the key. So a lot of people are like, hey, man, I got this. I got that. I want that 800 credit score. Where are the secrets? Where are the secrets? What is the secret? At least three revolving accounts every month. 
oh, well, that's, uh, that's interesting because I use two, I use a credit card and then I got a charge card over here I'm using. Dang, I forgot to use that third account because yeah, sure, I have accounts, but I'm, I'm not using them all the time. I gotta make sure I'm using that third account. That's what happened to me. I went down using two accounts, went down to 700. You want that 800 credit using three accounts makes the difference. Credit utilization under 7%, three accounts utilizing that. Boom, boom, boom. Now you wanna be paying off every month at least, right? What about five accounts? Can you use five accounts? Yes, you can use five accounts, but make sure your utilization is under 7% and that your total revolving and open-ended accounts when they're reported don't total over, this is, this is what's interesting, don't total over, okay, $2,500. So you just wanna be up on the reporting and make sure you're paying before that reporting period. You really want your utilization to be very low, but you're using. It's an interesting game because I've noticed when my utilization went up, my credit score went down. Even when I was paying it off every month, it's like you got to be paying. You got to know your cycle. You got to be paying early. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. How does the self lender program sound? Yeah. Self Inc. A lot of people like it. A lot of people have enjoyed a credit boost from using that self lender. Okay. Humble Righteous Truther says, I don't use credit cards. Okay. So are you looking to boost your credit, get it higher, or do you already have good credit without credit cards? says, my connection is unstable. Please wait while we try to reconnect. All right. And anyone see me okay? Does everyone see me all right? I feel as if the live stream is good. All right. Seems like we're reconnected. So hopefully we're good. Okay. Jalissa Hackman says, I use Self Lender and received 38 point boost in first payment. So like self lender. Yes, you're fine. Sounds good. Okay, cool. So we're good to go. Okay. So we've done over the 35% payment history, 30% amount of debt. Okay. 15% is your length of credit history, your length of credit history. Now I still need to work on mine. I'm sitting in the 800s. Good up in the 800s. Okay. Uh, Cornita's on last day. My partner, she knows when I go live. She's got the notifications on. Okay. Um, I have two accounts out of five accounts close to max but still 9%, okay. So let's talk about this. If you're closing in on maxing out a credit card or two, like you say, they look at that. That doesn't look favorable either, okay? Keeping your overall utilization down at 7% is great, but getting close to maxing out your cards as well also doesn't look good, even if you have a lot of available credit. So your idea here is spread it out or get that down and all that good stuff. Okay, so. 15% length of credit history. I need to work on mines, all right? I'm on myself, okay, I need to work on mines. I need to work on mine, but even though I don't have as long a history, I still can be up in the 800 credit score because it's still pretty good. Most people average age for the highest earners about nine years or more, average age of all your accounts together. And your oldest, one oldest account, 25 plus years. Now it doesn't have to be that high, I'm telling you, because I'm living proof of having an 800 credit score and I'm not that old, right? Um, you can still have an 800 credit score. Even when I was repairing my credit first starting out, my, I didn't have all that history and still had an 800 credit score, okay? Of course, mine came down a little bit when I was doing the travel miles and getting on these credit cards, okay? But yes, you can do it. All right, now 10% is your amount of new credit. The amount of new credit, amount of new credit, these inquiries, these new things that you're doing, this is about 70% of the highest FICO achievers really didn't apply for credit in the past year. And they really, uh, you know, their newest account really hasn't been open for about two and a half years, okay? Jalissa Hackman saying, were you churning? Were you churning? We talking about churning? Churning? Churning credit? We talking about churning? Yes, I was churning. Churning and burning, earning and burning uh, travel miles. That's right. <laughs> um. Got the bonuses, utilized them, saw all sorts of parts of the world, enhanced my life, enhanced my family's life. It's very important. Just let's have it like that. We talking about churning up in here? Churning? I'm supposed to be talking about credit repair, and we talking about churning. Churn? Practice? Okay. Anyway, let's get back to it. Age of recent, most your most recently opened account usually is not more than two and a half years, okay? And you really haven't, 70% of the highest achievers have not applied for credit in the past year. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, it's a catch-22. You want to have new credit, 
to be able to get credit history and pay on time and have all this u- utilization, but getting new credit, I feel like that's stuff there. But it'll bring your score down. So what does that mean? Okay, yes. You come up. It's not a linear process. You may come up a little bit. You may come down a little bit when you apply and go back up. Okay? That's what I did when I was churning and burning, earning, flying the skies, the friendly skies, right? So, yeah, I had up in the 800, then came down up into the high 700s, then way back up in the 800s because 10% is your credit mix. And at some point, the highest FICO achievers have 12 revolving accounts. Okay? That's right. 12. I'm not saying go out, get it today. But after a while, you can do this, okay? Installment loans, usually about five. Mortgage. Now, here's the thing. I didn't have no five installment loans, but I still had an 800 credit score, okay? You can do the self-lending. You can do a car or two, uh, you know, mortgage, all this stuff, okay? Bank issue credit cards need to be at least seven of those 12 revolving accounts. So a few people probably have a couple store cards. Maybe you have a Jewelers Club card or a New Coast Direct. Maybe you got a, you know, some store card out here that you like, maybe like a, whatever you like, okay? I don't know, you know, put any names to it, but 10% is your credit mix. So 12 revolving accounts, at least seven of them big banks and five installment loans. That's it. That's what you got to do to get that 800, to be at that highest level. And that's what you can do in 2020. That's what you can do for yourself. You can get your credit squared away in 2020. It starts now. It starts now. Your new year starts now. The mic's still good? Everybody still liking the mic? Does it sound good? All right. Let me know. All right. I'm trying to get in that 700. Make sure you got all your stuff cleaned up. What negative items you have, right? So we went over a lot of this stuff on how you can get the 800, how you can get the perfect credit, how you can do this in this year. But what do you got going on, Danny? Team Natural Row, right? I'm putting in my email here, okay? I'm putting my email. I want more emails. I want to do this more, okay? All day, every day. No sleep, no holidays, no days off. All day, all right? You don't want it. 12 accounts, does that include a use? Here's the thing. As long as your authorized user accounts, okay, as long as your authorized user accounts, as long as your accounts, right, uh, stay on there, right? I emails, okay. Uh, stay on there, then you could potentially use that in your school, okay? The reason I know this is because I've had friends and family, okay, who were put on as they use, and I saw the difference. I saw the difference myself. I saw it. So, yes, it is possible, okay? All right, so um, questions, okay, I do this. So, uh, questions because here's the thing. If I miss your question, please email me, okay? I get to talking, I get to going, I get to jumping around. Um, people are just jumping on now. Please watch the replay. If you miss anything, I get to go in and start about this stuff. If you're watching the replay, please give a thumbs up. If you're watching now, please give a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe, try button. I'd love to have you here on the channel. I have a great time. It's very rewarding. It makes me very happy to be able to help people, Okay. Yes, we can dispute inquiries. We have seen inquiries come off. Yes, that's right. 609creditpair.com, get the Beyond Committed package, or we can do the work for you at the awesomelifegroup.com. I'm going to put that in here right now. We're standing by today. If it's lunchtime, it's live time, right? People taking time, taking lunch. No, I works through lunch, okay? All right, let's see what we got. <laughs> How do you get them to report good accounts on Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion? Lindsay Thomas. Okay. You have good accounts. You're using them. They usually report. Is this something specific happening to you where you're using something and it's not reporting? Let me know. Let me know. You can email me what's going on. Typically, when you use it, it re-reports positively. You're usually good to go. Okay. John Sand says, I removed all my negative accounts in two months. I'm almost in the 800s. Y'all don't sleep on this because credit repair starts now. That's right, John. I appreciate you for coming in and anyone at the subscribe tribe here. Everyone, excuse me, everyone at the subscribe tribe doing this, okay? Want to enroll in your program? Tell me how. Exactly. 609creditrepair.com or we can do the work for you at theawesomelifegroup.com. I'm telling you, uh, putting these websites out again for you. I want you to know, okay? How do I get a high balance credit card? Okay. 
I stays fast. That's right. I am fasted. That's right. No food. Stay hungry. Get stay hungry. Want it? Want this for you? Want it? You want it? Taking souls, right? Okay. How do I get a high balance credit card? This is excellent question. So, your trade lines that you get these balance primary trade lines, these credit cards that you get are factored into many ways, right? So they look at, okay, what's this person making? What's their credit score looking like? What other trade lines are on there? Okay. So like a Capital One, they're usually pretty like, all right, here's five grand. Barclays usually like, here's five grand. Navy Fed offers high credit cards. They just approved John Sand for a $25,000 limit. Navy Fed does often do that. Navy Fed often does give big lines of credit. Chase often gives big lines of credit, okay? I've seen B of A give big lines of credit. But if you start with a cap one, you start with a Barclay, you're probably gonna get smaller lines, right? A USAA is probably gonna be a little smaller line, okay? Angie Smith says Navy Federal Credit Union gives high balances. Just got a 25K Amex with Navy Fed. Have 16K Visa. Score at 635. There you go. My B-ball. I'm new to credit. Will they approve me? What's your score at, brother? What you looking at? What you working with, huh? What you got, huh? Tell the fam. Tell the subscribe child. I'm getting pumped. I'm getting hyped. Okay? Humble righteous. My score is 570. Five. Good Lord, humble righteous. Hey, you're close. You're going to be in that 600. You're going to be in that 700. So you're going to be in that 800. Trust me. That's why I started. I started like you, humble righteous. I'm telling you, you can get to the other side. C Nash says, How are you, sir? Happy hump day. Happy hump days to you as well. Jalissa said, Churn and burn, 523. That's good. You mean the 524 rule? I need to get these US Department. Yes, you do. Travis, I'm telling you, dispute these negative, nasty Ronas. Uh, student loans, get them out of there. We have Blackbeard Dave on here has done it. Aaron House has done it. I've seen it. I've had this negative stuff come off of people's reports, okay? Glass Arm says, I got a 10K line with a FICO under 620, and I'm guessing that's Navy Fed as well. I mean, a 650. Okay, she's got a 650 FICO, okay. Humble Righteous Truth Truther says, I hear you, brother. I hear you. That's right, Okay. Now let's see what we got. Uh, let's say, but you're like, oh, Brent, I don't, I don't, I can't do the Navy Fed. I'm not part of the military. Look at the Penn Fed, find a way in. I know people. I know some people say, hey, I've got family and friends. Uh, excuse me, family that has been part of the military, so that'll get you into that kind of stuff. So look into it. Where well, there's a will, there is a way. Okay. Danny Team Naturals. So you're saying they stopped reporting your good history? Was it all good history all the time? They just all of a sudden started. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. That's not good history. Hey, Brandon, I don't own this car anymore. I want to get it off. Dispute that sucker. All right. Danny Team Naturals, have you disputed it? Have you? It, now, was it a repossession? Because if it was, they have to have very specific right, letters that they utilize. I got an offer from Navy Federal Credit Union. Okay. And man, Angie, my name is Ann G, Ann, and then a G Smith. Okay. No. Hi, thanks for the, helping us. How can you tell me where to start with a below low credit score? Pull your credit reports, all three, get the annual credit report, get all three, or maybe like a privacy guard, maybe they've got a, you know, trial period check, you know, check to see what their trial period is. Get all three reports. Find those negative nasty items. Get that beyond committed package at 609creditpair.com. Dispute these negative nasty erroneous items. Look into getting a good store card if you can't get a good primary credit card. Look into something like my Jewelers Club card, New Coast Direct. These cards give you 5K if, if it works for your budget, right? You might have to purchase something and have an annual fee. So maybe not. Maybe go the self-lender route. Maybe go the Capital One Secure card. Or if you want to wait on adding good positive history, get the negative stuff off of there. You got the low score because you got the negative stuff on there. Negative stuff off of there. Get it off of there. Okay.
I have an Experian account and it says my score went up 28 points to 674. I got, okay. Even though, okay, score went up even though you're disputing an account, it's late and I just got denied for a credit card still, okay. So your score is coming up, this is good. This is part of the credit repair process, okay. While you have a negative nasty erroneous item on there, eh, certain credit cards you may not get approved for, right? These nice big credit cards, but this other ones, the My Julius Club card, the New Coast Direct, you can, QDK is what it is, okay? And dispute this sucker, okay? I'm disputing it, it's still in dispute. Dispute it, see what comes off, it's gonna come off, you can do this. People are doing it all day, every day, okay? And don't believe their lies. Don't believe it, right? In the beginning of this stuff, I was saying, don't believe anything when they come back verified or we can't find your file or whatever. You can file your complaints. I had an individual file a complaint with the CFPB and their attorney general in their state. A $1,600 collection came off. I'm telling you, you can do this. You can get this stuff squared away. They have to adhere to those laws. You are in the right. We are in the right, okay? Let's see. Oh, Glass Arm said, nope, it was Chase. Chase approved a $10,000 limit for Glass Arm, which makes sense. Chase gives us a little bit bigger stuff, and, they, and she was at six fifty, dollars so it is true. They get bigger uh, lines of credit, okay? Is any, so what are your thoughts on Apple Card limits? Uh, what are the Apple Card limits? Uh, I'm, this Apple Card is kind of new, so let's put it up to the subscribe chart. Does anybody have an Apple Card at this time, huh? I don't have an Apple card. I'm going to look into this more. What do I think about self-lenders? It appears if self-lender has been quite helpful to the subscribe job and the people that utilize it. But make sure it kind of works for you and your budget, okay? What do I send assistance to removal that keep, quote, unquote, verifying at least? Okay, so, okay, so I have four collections on Experian. Three for tra TransUnion, but zero for e Equifax. What do I see sent for assistance with removal? They keep quote unquote verifying. At least that's what they say. Okay. So I did a live stream last Saturday. Okay. Had another individual come on and confirm. These deletions you got with Equifax, you got nothing. Deleted. You can take that. You can show Experian. You can show TransUnion. TransUnion had took one of them off too, right? Because you only have three with TransUnion. You can show them. This individual came online. They said, I did that. I showed them. I sent the disputes and I showed the proof that they deleted and quit very quickly. The other bureaus took them off. Okay. Danny Team Natural said, nope, I can't stand Apple. Okay. Well, we'll see. Jerome will keep the camera tight. Thank you. Jerome, you're doing excellent work, brother. Okay. You got the new mic. People seem to be happy with the new mic. So, okay. Jerome, you're doing great. James Jones, thank you so much for the super chat, okay? That was, uh, wow, thanks, man. You're welcome. And I, this is funny, two-part question, because I just talked about this one, James, so hopefully, okay, hopefully you heard that. Well, maybe not, maybe just jumped out. Do I include collections and inquiries on the same dispute letter? Okay, so in the 609 dispute letters, there are very specific inquiry dispute letters that you can send into the bureaus and into the creditors, okay? And you can send collection validation letters to the collectors. Now, in your 609 dispute letters, you can add charge-offs and collections, but the inquiries go on very specific special letters, okay? And I apologize if there's any, you know, building, construction, the offices and stuff, okay? So, typically collections and inquiries are not on the same dispute letters, they're on separate dispute letters that go to the bureaus, Okay, you can send them to the bureaus and the inquiries also can go to the creditors, the inquiries put on there, okay? Moreover, I have a, a collection removed from Experian, but TransUnion Equifax quote unquote verified it. Again, this is where you can show that Experian deleted it along with your disputes into TransUnion Equifax. Again, you show Experian deleted, it, boom, boom, boom. Get that negative nasty stuff off. I had an individual subscribe tribe member come on last live stream on Saturday and confirm that that worked for her as well as other people have done it as well. Okay, James Jones, and I appreciate you. And look, if you guys have questions, if you ladies have questions, if the subscribe has questions, you can email me. I'm putting my email in here again, okay? Because it's a weekday and yeah, 
I will have to get back to the emails. I will have to get back to the disputes. I'll have to get back to the clients and customers and bearing down the necks and keeping the foot to the necks of these bureaus, okay? So just a few more minutes, maybe five minutes or so. So I wanna make sure I get a few more questions in. You have my email, all right? And we've got great videos coming out as well. So please hit that subscribe try button, okay? How I see what you say. How accurate is the 524 credit card? Uh, what do you mean accurate? Uh, like you're, you won't get approved if you've applied for more than five credit cards in 24. So this is this rule, this 524 rule is Chase. It's only Chase, only Chase. So relax, it's only Chase, guys. Uh, Chase has this rule that if you've applied for more five or more credit cards within two years, uh, they usually won't approve you for one of their higher echelon cards, okay? So the guidelines for their higher echelon cards, the Chase, Sapphire, and Pre Preferred, and Premier, and all these cards, right? These higher end cards, 524. Typically, you know, business credit cards do not count. It's usually just for the higher end cards. And if you've applied for five or more in a, in a couple of year period, I know when I was churning and burning, um, I knew that that was not going to be good for me. Okay. Uh, Tia, have you applied for it? Tia, have you tried other cards? Tia, maybe you want to start with something else. Also, are you, have you, do you, is this hypothetical or do you actually have 524? Have you done five credit cards in the last two years? Okay. Uh, let's see. Tia, yes, you have. Okay. The other thing too is uh, always consider the reconsideration line for anything or any reason that they might say, oh, we're well, not instantly approved. Okay. Or turned down. You can always explain your case and explain what's going on. I had to call reconsideration line. I had an 800 credit score and they were like, you're churning and burning. What's going on? I was like, I didn't even have to explain myself. I just had to confirm who I was. Okay. <sighs> Let's see. Ah, Aniqua Chantel. Hey, Brandon, I got denied for an apartment because they've of an eviction. However, there's no eviction on my three credit reports. What should I do? Okay. Bam. Got my, my list, my list, my lisp, my lists. Okay. You can check these other spots for potential evictions. Okay. First and foremost, LexisNexis, CoreLogic. Okay. CICReports.com, Contemp Contemporary Information Corp, CICReports.com. Okay, Experian Rent Bureau, so Experian.com slash Rent Bureau. CoreLogic, LexisNexis, people know this, okay. RealPage.com, First Advantage Corporation Rental History Reports, or FADV.com, ScreeningReports.com, TenantData.com, and then, of course, TransUnion has a rent screening solutions, MySmartMove.com, okay. Now you're like, oh, that's a lot. Lexus, Nexus, CoreLogic are the key, the key components there, okay? You get them out of there, you're probably okay. Also, ask them where they see this inaccurate information. If you pull your reports and you're like, I don't have an eviction on there, I don't know where this inaccurate information is coming from. You guys need to tell me. Ask them, ask them, ask them, ask them. Tia Haskins says, thank you for your letters. It helped me and my husband and son. My daughter is 24 and she's in the process of buying her first house. This guy's the truth. I appreciate you. All right. I appreciate you. Amandu Mariko. Can I apply for new credit while my credit is free frozen? Freeze frozen. Uh, depends what you froze. If it's the big three bureaus, right? And all three are frozen. Yeah, you, you won't be able to do that. Now, here's the thing. If for some reason you didn't freeze all three bureaus, I know my credit union looks at one specific bureau and a lot of credit card companies only look at one. So if you know the one that they're going to look at, you could actually just unfreeze that one. Okay. And if it's some of the smaller bureaus, you're probably okay. Okay. Let's see. Dude, you certainly helped my family. Tia says, okay. All right. You're very welcome. I appreciate you all being here on the live stream on a weekday with us. All right, I'm pumped, I'm excited. Maybe we'll go a little bit longer then, okay? Maybe we'll ask, answer a few more questions, okay? 
I mean, we'll do a little bit more. I mean, you know what? I could use my whole lunch time here. You know what I'm saying? Maybe do a little bit longer. I do have a very, well, I do have a meeting here coming up in the next 30. So I'll just do a little bit longer, okay? A little bit longer. Okay. Chelsea. Interested in inquiry removal? Yes, absolutely. Oh, it's Chelsea, sorry. Chelsea Middleton. Email me. Okay. Ah, I purchased your lettuce. And I'm wondering, do I need to hand write them or can I type them? Okay. Uh, handwriting's fine. Typing's fine. Using staples, good. Highlighters, good. Fine. Long, legal, no. Side printing, side stuff. It's all good. It's all fine. You know why? Because it's about the law. It's about the law. It's about the laws. Who's the law? We are the law, right? It's about the laws. So it's about what you're disputing, how you're disputing, right? Unverified accounts, the laws, the sections of fair credit reporting, the sections of the Fair Debt Collection Practice Act, FACTA, the laws, the laws that they, that the, the nonsense they, they pull, not responding in the 30 days, right? It's the laws. If they want to use their EOSCAR system, we got a letter that says they're not supposed to be using the EOSCAR system, right? It's about them violating your rights under the laws. So sure, you can do the handwriting and this and that, but it's about what those letters state. And that's why you want to get those at 609creditpair.com, get the Beyond Commitment Package. We've got the, all the legal, oh, excuse me, there's no legal advice, right? But all the laws of the Fair Credit Reporting Act and everything outlined for you in there, in that Beyond Committed Package, okay? Okay, good. <laughs> if Jerome was in Baltimore, I would have brought, I would have brought you lunch. Jerome, Jerome, you don't be, hey, brother, you don't be needing that. No, 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 sit down. We don't have no lunch, okay? No lunch, no breakfast, just work. That's all we do, okay? All right, let's see what we got. 